Are you a free to pay player looking at Core Dragons from Green Out? Which hero should you invest into? Well, this video isn't that video. Instead, this is going to be the harsh reality for a free to play and low spender on how many legendary hero tokens I have personally earned through playing over five seasons. And that is 490 days of gameplay and showcasing how much I have earned and how much you need to put into a hero and the harsh reality, like I said, of being a free to play player. Hello guys, yes, yeah, smash like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Miss Sneaky the one and only, and I've got a really fun video here, because we did do this on uh, the Discord chat, we're just showcasing to them about this and giving them a little, little, little sneak teaser about it, but, what I was doing is going through all of my heroes because as we know we have a bunch of heroes in this game. In total we have 17 legendary heroes that you're going to have access to in the game and then now the two new ones meaning 19 right but we don't have access to them and you, we're not going to include them in this video as of now right. But right now I have played the game for 490 days and the crazy thing is when we look at all of my heroes and we go through and we start looking at the legendary hero tokens and we can look at some of you know my investments and some of my regrets into my investments as well and obviously the luck from the wheels and just the daily chest that i've been spending on the game right when we look at it and we add up everything in total guys the scary, scary number of legendary tokens that I have earned. And again, you got to remember, this is a, I have played 490 days. And you can see 298 of them are put into my Goresh because obviously I've done this recently. But out of everything, I have in total earned, as a, if you imagine being a free to play player, no spending. 791 sculptures yeah and what that means is basically for a free to play you might not think no that's a lot that's a lot of heads guys it takes 690 sculptures to awaken one hero so that means i've earned in total a you know the ability to awaken one hero and on top of it have 101 sculptures spare for the next investment and that's not including the bundles if we included now the bundles to that obviously that's 170 extra heads included so that means i would have in total again 900 add 61 sculptures so again if we did this math 961 and we just quickly quickly minus off the 690 sculptures it means i'd be left with right now 271 sculptures and the thing is this matters so much again it comes into when you're trying to be a free to play player and you're trying to figure out the best investments or the troop type because as you can hear from me this is my game experience again five seasons i have played i have played three season ones two season twos and now I'm going into my sixth season and this is season t1 and i've not been able to obviously maximize heroes and that's obviously my decision through obviously getting heroes to 5111 to make sure i have every hero at 5111 but you can see even if i wanted to knuckle down on a mage type i might have had the ability to you know awaken one hero. So I or even if i went archers i could have awakened frega and I might have been able to make my Syndrome something like 5, 1, 5, and maybe 3 or 2 on that regard. And that would be it. And out of everyone else, 1, 1, 1, 1 are not unlocked unless they're a gold key commander, right? So that's the sad, harsh reality. I wanted to make this video and make it for you guys. Because again, you're probably wondering, what do I advise you guys? And the thing is... A lot of players would advise mages because, again, mages are from Season 1, Season 2, 
really really good very very free to play friendly because the maximum range they do the most amount of like area of effect damage so pvp is really fun and easy to play but then when you go into the next seasons some people again and i don't want to be that guy like a uh, you know who wants to sing uh wolf but bertrand and toha is up in the air no one knows how good these are going to be i honestly think bertrand is going to be great so if you did want to invest into another hero maybe bertrand would be the one and you might skip out on the toha who knows but that's the thing right you're looking at this now maybe in a different light when it comes to a free-to-play player experience because you've got maybe if you want to play down that cavalry role you know maybe you're only going for heroes that you can technically five 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 one and just keep doing a five 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 one like roll on the majority of your heroes that you're investing into and maybe further down the line maybe when you've played the game again maybe five six seasons that's where you might have learned maybe we need to awaken the forendale or we might need to awaken our you know our scorger we might need to or maybe we need to awaken our madeline for that Do you know what i'm saying like you will learn that from there so i think for now if you're looking for advice on investments obviously i don't want to say pick your favorite troop type maybe follow what you listen to on your favorite content creators obviously we're here to try and give you just different types of advice and just inform you of different ways you can look at the game and obviously learn to obviously play or invest and, and so on but once you pick your troop type, just honestly try and stick to it. Because as of now, there's not enough sculptures to basically play as a free-to-play or mainly like a low spender as a super, you know, spread out account. Unless you are heavily spending every single day. And what I mean by that, I mean is every single day you're going to be buying your daily deal so you can always obviously level up your heroes and then you might be buying some of these special extras in the game to keep you running and obviously keep you um above board because otherwise you are gonna you know feel it in the long run so we know we've done a video on obviously um the bad parts and good parts of obviously call of dragons we've done a you know videos on the accessibility and the engagement on how i would improve it so if you want to check those videos out you can check those videos out and they've been out a couple of days now so maybe just check out it on the main channel and you should be able to see them but i wanted to make this video because i thought you know what it's about time and if again if you wanted to be just to show any sort of you know clarification again 490 consecutive days logged in from playing i will admit personally i might have missed out maybe about a half a season when i was playing on re uh, certain rewards but it didn't really impact me that much and if anything it would showcase i've got even less to my name right so i could have had more so it just showcases like look this game isn't really got too much in right now what we need to do is try and figure out ways that the devs can implement really good events for us that we can obviously grind through and earn hero sculptures to actually level up our heroes as well as obviously having the option to spend to get the fast track and level them up and obviously beat the guys that are grinding through in the early game right so i hope you guys have enjoyed it that's been me mr sneaky the one and only i hope you guys have enjoyed this it's a little bit different like i said more of this discussion opinion a type of video where we talk about the game and the current state of it and how i have currently you know embraced it or how i have you know currently gone through the whole if you want to say life cycle of this game to the current time right so i hope you guys enjoyed it smash like comment and subscribe you know what to do we hit over 5,000. let's go for the 10,000 subs and we can make a big name for ourselves in this community and we're already loved i know i want to say thank you guys for all the kind comments the so super chats the donations you guys give out and anything you do i'm always much appreciated and it does help and if you want to help guys honestly i am as you guys know trying to work towards that t5 push if you want to help towards that t5 push there is a paypal tip link down in the description below anything you put in there will be put towards the game specifically and going towards the t5 so just make sure if you're doing that put in the comments as you take t5 t5 
tip and then whatever you want to put and i will be making like a nice weekly video or maybe when i go on live stream and highlight everyone who's been going into the t5 fund so until then smash the like comment and subscribe stay safe stay sneaky peace out